This is my final week of interpreting the prompt packaging. In this particular video, I am utilizing old water bottles, carbonated beverage bottles, butter tubs, all sorts of things that I've pulled out of my kitchen that would normally be discarded to create these little cloth bowls. My name is Peg. I call my channel Two Old Crows Mixed Media. Let's get started on this final prompt interpretation of packaging. So now I am taking this Diet Coke bottle and transforming it. This is one of those two liter bottles. I'm going to transform it into a mold that I can utilize to create these cloth bowls. What you see lying on my work table is a bunch of little cotton swatches that they came in a package um, I don't know if they're for quilters or I don't know what they were for. I purchased them to put them on my mason jar lids when I was gifting some of the jellies and pickles that my husband had and I had made when we were gardening or when we garden. Sometimes we, we gift those things. So this is the mold, the plastic bottle, the fabric sw swatches are going to become my bowl. I am gluing them onto the bowl with a Elmer's glue or a PVA glue and water mixture. I'll put the ratio up above and I am just going round and round that bowl until I feel that I am at the thickness that it will create a substantial piece. Now, if you have a fabric that is only vibrant on one side, I would recommend taking the first layer and putting that vibrant side on the inside so that the inside of your bowl has a really nice look and feel because you have the right side of that fabric showing on the inside. You're going to put two or three layers of fabric onto the outside so that first one can be turned the wrong way. I'm hoping that I'm making sense. I am fortunate because these little swatches are vibrant on both sides, so I don't even have to think about it. Now, I have cut everything into strips, and I'm going to be quiet, and I'm just going to go round and round this bowl until we get it completely glued. There's a new day Come again tomorrow There's a new day To wash away the pain There's a new day To take away your sorrow And the old ways Get washed out We're getting to a point where we are putting on the final little pieces of fabric. And as you probably noticed, I'm not being real particular about what I pick up, what I choose. I'm cutting and ripping and tearing it into little strips and, and just going for it. Um, not trying to create any significant pattern. I just want this to be a, a real little boho looking if you try to get some sleep, if you give So I think I have everything on that I went on. And for my final layer, because I have it in stock, I don't know that it was necessary, but I do have it in stock. It's the Mod Podge hard coat. And as you all know, I'm very fond of that. So I will put that hard coat, that final um Final layer is going to be a coat of that hard coat. Then I'm going to set this aside just like this, and I am going to let it dry completely, naturally, and on its own. 
I did walk away from this for a couple of days. And when I came back, I had a very um, nice, hard little bowl, as you can see. And the plastic, of course, is, is in that bowl. And when I go to peel that away from the edges, it breaks away from the edges quite easily. And we're starting with these, these two. I'm not going to put you through the gluing on, on all of them that I did because I got, I got into it. And I, I made, I think, about six or seven. So the plastic does, you can see that I'm struggling to get it out. It does kind of create a little bit of an issue. I think I pulled in some, some little, uh, um, little tiny pair of pliers and helped me with it. I'm using the scissors to kind of cut down. But you'll be able to feel your way through this and do it in whatever way is comfortable for you. But you would be surprised how sturdy that glued cloth bowl is and see I'm taking my little jewelry pliers and just twisting that plastic to kind of release it so I cut it down one side and then I'm just giving it a twist and there it's finally going to release itself and come out there we go so now I have two little bowls that I have released from the mold and they can be finished at this particular point. I, there's really, they really don't need anything else. They look cute stacked together and you can see the inside is just as vibrant as the outside. I actually am quite in love with these silly little bowls and that's why I made these first two and then I pulled out a butter tub I pulled out um, like a parmesan cheese container and went to town on a lot of different variations of these little cloth bowls and any t anything plastic <clears throat> does work so now I want to decorate it just a little bit more I have this tiny hole punch I'm going to punch some holes around each of them and thread those holes with 20 gauge copper wire. And I will put some music on again and just kind of go through that initial threading of that copper wire and then we'll meet again on the other side of that. threaded and I have cut it off so we have about an inch and a half to two inches of um, an end here I just twisted that and now I am starting it in a little spiral and just spiraling it with my jewelry scissors and then we'll flatten that out against the side of the bowl and we will have a finished piece. So I'm just turning it into a little twist and then taking my jewelry scissors, or jewelry scissors, those aren't scissors, those are little pliers, and twisting it around. And now, I was gonna hang this little bottle of beads on it, but I decided that was, that was not gonna work. So I set that aside. And that is how I finished each of those off. And we'll get into what I did on the others here in just a second. 
and just twisting, t kind of tightening that wire up. So anywhere there's a, a, a expanse of that wire, I'm taking my little plier and just giving it a slight little twist and that just gives it a little bit of interest and it also tightens it. So here are the one, two, three, four, or five, six bowls that I made. You can see the inside of each are all just as vibrant as the outside. Here's a little close-up of one of them, a close-up of that little spiral, you know, nothing real intricate or delicate. But I did add some charms onto some of them, which I do think adds a bit and looks cute. And I think this one is my favorite one right here that I added charms all the way around. So thank you for joining me as I interpret these prompts. I pull one at the beginning of each month. I'm getting ready to pull a new one. And next Sunday, you'll see a new video with a new prompt. If you would like to see everything that has been done since I started this, at the end of 2023, you can catch all of those previous videos by clicking on this playlist right here on my end screen. Once again, thank you for being here. Bye.